My name is Hannah, I'm a second year historian at Jesus College Oxford and I've made a short video series to give you a bit of information about the application process. Um, I hadn't decided that I wanted to go to Oxford until about July of the year that I applied because I'd never really considered that it was an option for me and so I've made this series to hopefully give people who are in a similar position to me a bit more information and share the things that I wish that I'd known when I was in that position. So the first thing that I want to share is the fact that anybody can go to Oxford. Um, I hadn't really thought that it was an option for me until one of my teachers suggested that it was something that I could do. Um, and I'm suggesting to you now that it's something that you can do too. So a lot of the information in these videos is kind of behind the scenes information or information that I hadn't been told before I applied. Um, that really is information that a lot of people who know people who go to Oxford will already have from their friends, from their family or from their teachers. Um, and it can make it quite hard to apply if you don't know these things. Um, so I've broken down a couple of things that I wish I'd known um, and I'm hopefully sharing them with you um, to help you know that Oxford is a place for everyone. It's something that you can do no matter what background you're from and that it's something that you can um, choose to apply for um, no matter where you are at the current moment. Um, the other thing that I want to do with this series is to give you a bit of information about what to do if you're quite late choosing to apply. And this can often happen to people who haven't considered Oxford because it can sometimes be a last minute decision um, when you realise that it's maybe something that you can do. So because I decided to apply to Oxford only a few months before I actually had to put my application in, it felt quite overwhelming. Um, and so as a result, I've given you some tips throughout this series about how to do things if you're short on time, um, the best way to focus your attention, and also just to remind you that even if it is quite late in the day, um, it is still an option to apply to Oxford for you. If you have any questions or you have anything extra that you want to know, feel free to comment it on any of the videos. Um, and I really hope that this series is useful for some of you and that encourages some of you to apply to Oxford too.